rock Jesus pieces, but they really don't know Jesus. Just know that he's the seat that pleads with me. Yeah, we got the keys to the kingdom. We'll never be defeated. Evil legions, all the demons. I know you see them screaming. Please believe it. We got the keys to the kingdom. We got the keys for the kingdom. We got Jesus pieces, but they really don't know Jesus. Just know that he's the seat that pleads with me. The keys to the kingdom, we'll never be the fucking evil legions. All the demons and demons, I know you see them screaming. Please believe it. We got the keys to the kingdom. We got the keys to the keys to the. Listen, 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 listen. Sir, you're talking about books. Obviously, you read a lot of books, right? So, Solomon's the wisest man on earth, right? I'm going to give you two, right? No, he's not. The Bible said Solomon is the wisest man on earth. Give me that. Give me, give, before I get that, give me Isaiah 34, 16. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. What did the Most High God say? It, went, it ain't no whoever you name, ain't no damn Buddha. It ain't none of that. The Bible says what? Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. This is what you're supposed to be seeking out of. This is what the brother is showing you. He's showing you your heritage, your history, according to the Bible. That's what we're supposed to be seeking out, out because this is what's going to bring our people together. This is what's going to put us back on top. Read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate, meaning no one of these prophecies in the Bible is going to fail. He just read you some prophecies in the Bible out of Deuteronomy 28. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Out of Deuteronomy 28, which, which came to pass, which have come to pass. Slavery, yes, and we're still in slavery today. But did that not happen to us? Yes, it did. He just read it out of Deuteronomy 28. Read. And his spirit, it have gathered them. And he hath cast a lot for them, and his hand hath divided it unto them by line. Now, this is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 12. And further, by these, my son, be admonished, of making many books, there is no end. So of making many books, there is no end. It's the same thing we just read out of Isaiah 34 and 16. It says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No other book can match the Bible. That's no right, other right. damn book. No other book is going to tell you who you are according to the Bible. That's right. And, and much study is a weariness of the flesh. And much study is a weariness of the flesh. That's why your mind is the way it is. That's why you can't see what the brother's trying to show you. Because you're as much weary of the flesh. No, he's hearing you just like I'm hearing you. I'm over there hearing you. And I'm telling you right now what you're saying is about to BS. Because there's nothing that's coming out the Bible. Read. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole entire matter. Read. Fear God and keep his commandments. Fear God and keep his commandments. That's our whole duty as man on this earth. Period. That's what our duty is. Read. For this is the whole duty of man. For this is the whole duty of man. So if you're not doing that, guess what? He just read it Luke. 13 and 3. You do have free will. You have a choice. Christ gave us that choice. Give me that again. Christ gave us that choice. You either going to repent or you're going to be put to death when Christ returns. Straight up. It ain't no, it ain't no in between. It ain't no cookie cutter. It, it is what it is. Read. This is the book of Luke chapter 13 verse 3. I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. So, guess what? You don't have to, you don't have to, if you don't want to fear the most high, go ahead, when he comes down here, I'm telling you straight, you're not going to, you're not going to like it. If you're not, he's showing you how to fear the most high, he's showing you who you are, he's telling you, hey, keep this law, statutes, and commandments. That's it. He's telling you how to fear him. But if you, if you, look, if you can see, yes, if you choose, look, I just told you what your choice is. You can repent, repenting is fearing God, keeping his law, statutes, and commandments, and or you can perish when you return, that's it. That's all it is to it, bro. What is nation? Nation is family.